this is Emily the Crunchy Coach and today I wanted to do the follow-up video that I talked about in my series about preparing for bunion surgery, what to expect before and after. I promised you a video that would show you some exercises you could do to keep your hip muscle and your leg muscles from atrophying. So I want to go ahead and show you a couple of really good exercises that I've actually been doing for I think over a year now maybe a year and a half, and these exercises in conjunction with several others that I've been doing have really helped to strengthen my lower back. I had lower back issues. My core got strong, my lower back got stronger. These exercises are awesome. They are resistance stretch exercises that come from Bob Cooley's book, The Genius of Flexibility. And if you look below this video on YouTube, there's going to be a link. You can just click that link. It'll take you right to that um, page on Amazon. And you can take a look at that book, The Genius of Flexibility. But it's really critical. If, if you have not had your bunion surgery yet, I strongly encourage you to start doing these exercises several months ahead of time, or at least a few weeks, because you want to develop strength before you start losing it. And... Um, it's okay if you've already had the surgery and you're a little bit late. You'll still be able to build muscle back up. All right, so, and I don't remember the names of these exercises. I'm just going to demonstrate. The one, you know, you're lying back, and here I've got an exercise mat here. You bend one leg up like that. You cross the other leg over it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to push my right foot here, I'm going to push forward as I'm pushing my left leg back. Okay, I'm going to hold myself back here and I'm just going to push. And you just hold for two or three seconds and let go. And you do six to ten repetitions like that. And that, I've actually self-adjusted myself by accident. I've had um, a little bit of lower back pain and this was probably six months, a year ago, but I overdid it and had some lower back pain and I did this exercise and I literally felt my tailbone move. I felt it shift and I heard a little crack. It didn't hurt, but after it shifted, the pain went away. So it works. And when you get done with that, rest for about 10 seconds, then you just switch. You bend your right leg, cross your left leg over it, and again, you're pushing back hard with this leg and you're pulling your right leg forward like this. So that's going to be a great one to really help your hip muscles. The other one that I think has been really helpful post-op, the bunionectomy, is also on the floor and it's this one here. Legs straight up in the air, or as straight as you can get it, not everybody's this flexible. So my left leg is straight up in the air, my right leg is bent. Now, listen carefully. I'm going to push my, I'm going to be pushing my left leg forward and pulling, I, I'm going to be pushing my right leg forward while I'm pushing backward against my hand. And at the same time, I'm going to pull my left leg forward while my, I'm pu pushing my left leg ahead. So like this, and again, just two, three seconds. Let go, do it again, and do that six, six to ten reps. Then when you're done, take a little break and do the other side. You're resisting. You're resisting the stretch. Your, your hands aren't letting your legs move where they're going. Again, the bent leg is trying to come this way, the straight leg is trying to go that way, and your hands are pushing against them so they can't. Um, another perfect exercise for recovering from a bunionectomy is a simple leg, leg lift, like this. Just, you know, do your leg lifts. Get on your side like that. Get on your side. And as I mentioned in a previous video too, uh, there are, I'm not into Pilates, but there are several Pilates moves that uh, you do on the floor that are really great exercise for your legs as well. So I hope that has helped you. 
if you're going to have bunion surgery or if you've already had a bunion removed and it's been a couple weeks and you feel yourself weakening, please avail yourself to these very simple exercises. Again, you can also very easily do upper body training, whether you're, do, whether you're just sitting on the floor doing weights or whether you're doing body strength training, this kind of thing, you know, or pressing against walls. But you need to make sure you keep up your strength and don't let your muscles atrophy. And I'm going to give you hints about gaining weight post-op. Eat less food. Okay? It works. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you. If you liked it, feel free to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care and be well.